Here they are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pairs of jeans. These are supposed to be the biggest denim trends for the year. Well, not that you have to care about trends, but in case you are curious. And they're supposed to be everywhere this season. I have not tried them on, so I have no idea how they look. Before I start, I am 5'2", I am short, and my legs are shorter even compared with other petite women. Ankle inseam is 25 inches, that's right above my ankle. Because of that reason, all the jeans I got today, extra short lengths or short lengths. The trend number one, we're gonna test the carpenter jean. And I purchased this from Abercrombie. For this video, I actually purchased a bunch from Abercrombie, and this one is the, um, oops, the high-rise that jean with a carpenter design so the patches on both legs and this is a narrow fitted carpenter jean right off the bat i feel like this is gonna be too long for me even though this is their short length so yeah this is too long but let's see how it looks okay this is how it looks like on me you know this is actually not too bad not bad at all the fit is not as baggy as i thought the back of it actually fits just about right on the butt i mean it's, it's loose here but it's supposed to do that however here is one big problem it is too long for me and i'm wearing sneakers because they're supposed to be really casual the thing is you can cuff it but when you cuff it it kind of covers up you know it covers up the carpenter design it kind of beats the purpose yeah, and this is not something you want to wear with high heels. It doesn't quite go with the vibe of the jeans. So overall, I would say the fit is actually decent. So if you're tall enough to pull it off without cuffing it, it looks pretty nice because it's narrow fitted, the leg is not too wide, it doesn't look too baggy. But if you're shorter like me, I would not recommend it. If you're petite, make sure you check out my clothing line at petitedressing.com for women under 5'4". Ever since I discovered like petitedressing.com, my style went from this to this. The next trend we're gonna test is a 90s loosely fitted jean. And for this, I purchased this one from Gap. You know, this is also actually carpenter design. I told you it's gonna be everywhere. And so one side has a little loop and the other side has the big pocket. You know what? This feels like loose. I mean, I know the jean is called loosely fitted 90s jean, but still, this feels like, I almost feel like it runs big because I got 27 inches in waist, which is supposed to be my waist, but this is definitely looser than I expected. But other than that though, if I were to size it down, one size, I think the fit is pretty decent because the back of it doesn't feel baggy. The only thing is, this is supposed to be mid-rise. However, I don't feel like this mid-rise at all. This Definitely feels like high rise. See, it's, this is above my belly button. And the only problem is though, yeah, it is. See, it's definitely too long. If I were to wear this with flats or sneakers, I do want to try heels this time. I am back with heeled booties. You know, this turned out to be better than I'd expected because the trend this year, 90s, loosely fitted, the mid-rise, the carpenter, you know, all the keywords, the buzz that's supposed to be like really relaxed fit and which typically, normally don't work out for someone like my height. And this is actually better than I have expected. I will definitely size it down one size just because it fits looser. But other than that, I think the fit is decent and the silhouette can work even for my height. The next trend we're gonna test, the crisscross. They're all over the place. I've always been curious. So I got this one. I purchased it from Abercrombie. And this is what it looks like, the crisscross jean. I've not opened it prior to this video. So it looks really interesting. And this is also the dad fit. So it's a high rise. And also this is 27 inches in the waist and I got this in the short length. This doesn't look too long compared with the other two pairs I got from them. I am ready. What do you think? I 
don't you like it? It's not as baggy as I thought, even though this is a little looser than what I'm used to, but overall, I feel like this is pretty decent. It's narrowly fitted, not too narrow, but it's not definitely not tight. And the lens works out. I'm wearing this with my sandals because the color of the denim is lighter, so it does feel like a summer denim. This is my first time trying the crisscross jeans. I think it's really good design. The reason is because if you don't have a very slim waist like myself, my waist is 27, sometimes 28 inches. And when I try these jeans, I feel like because it's at an angle and it's lower in the middle and higher on both sides, this is gonna give you the illusion of a smaller, a more slender waist. My experience with Chris Quest, pretty positive. So if you are curious about this trend, Go ahead and try it. The next trend we're gonna test, the two-tone jeans. There are so many different designs. So I got this pair from Abercrombie again, and this is two-tone, but both are black tones. This is two different fabrics, and that's what gives the two-tone. This is cotton denim. Another tone is with faux leather. First, the fit. I feel like this is so far my favorite pair from everything I've tried today. Cause it fit is really nicely, both on my buttocks and on my waist. I don't feel anything baggy at all. Now let's look at the length. Okay, definitely my favorite pair so far. It's nothing bunching, it's right at where I want it to be. It's not too short, it's under my ankle. So when I wear heels, it's not gonna look like it's too cropped. I wouldn't change a bit about this pair. And the next one we're gonna test the low rise trend. I know, I know, I have said several times on my channel that low rise just doesn't work for me, but because it has been so popular, it is literally everywhere. So I have to include it and test it and show it to you what it looks like as one of the biggest trends for this year. So this pair, I got it from Abercrombie. Let's open it together and see what it looks like. All right, so this is a lighter wash, low rise, the 90s jeans. Speaking of which, the 90s have shown up three times in our try on today. So that also tells you how big of a trend the 90s are. And this is also ripped on both sides. I normally almost never wear ripped jeans. So let's see how the combination works. This is the low rise, plus the ripped 90s looser fitted jeans. My first impression, this is not low rise, uh-uh. My rise is about 10 inches, so if it's right on my belly button, this is at least mid rise, too high rise. The reason they're calling it a low rise, I think it's to go with the trend, but it's actually not that bad. And then let's look at the fit. This fit is baggy, cause 90s, that's a buzzword, the 90s, equals baggy fit. But everything we try today, they are pretty baggy. And this is not an exception. So this is not a surprise to me. And in terms of the leg shape, it's pretty good because it's a straight leg shape. Oh my goodness, this has turned out to be not bad at all. I kind of like it. So this pair turned out to be a pleasant surprise to me, but that is because this is not a true low rise. If you're looking for low rise jeans that's eight inches and under, you do have to watch out. They are very much gonna make your belly pop out. If you don't have a very flat belly, I would be very, very cautious about the low rise trend. But if you are looking for something that's on the lower side, like this pair, it might be the mid rise. That's something you can give it a try and it might work out pretty well. The next one we're gonna test, the barrel jeans. The barrel has been a trend for at least two years because I have done another video previously and the barrel was one of the most popular jeans. So for this video, I purchased this one from Gap. But not only Gap, there's a lot of retailers, the Not Republic, Old Navy, it's pretty big trend right now. So my first impression of these jeans, it looks baggy. And besides, wow, this is, again, another carpenter design. This tells you how big a trend carpenter is this year. And I feel like this might be too big for me, even though I ordered my normal size, you know, 27 inches for my waist. Yeah, this is baggy. It's definitely baggy. 
not only it's looser on the waist, I feel like this runs large, but also the overall design just feel like so baggy. The length is actually longer than I thought it would be. So I definitely need some sort of heel. I am back with a pair of heels. So what do you think? I feel like it's a no, right? It, it's clear this is too long for me and also too wide. Even though I'm wearing like two inch heels, this jeans is just like dragging me down, like make me feel like I'm two inches shorter. So yeah, this is not a, um, no, I wouldn't get this. Speaking of the rise of the jeans, I do want to mention if you have shorter torso, mid rise to low rise can be your best friend. When it comes to short torso, that's actually not very clear. A lot of us are a little bit confused about it. Like for example, I am short, so I am supposed to have shorter torso compared with taller women. However, my torso relative to my legs are actually long. I have the long torso short legs body type. I do have another video. Based on that, you can tell whether or not you have a short torso, long torso, or a balanced torso. So make sure you watch this video as well.